hi everyone assalamualaikum so today i am just gonna continue from where we left off and what we have done up till now is this that uh, if you will see the main website if i go to home this is the home page and this is the area where i will put all the latest news in this variable which you can see here if i go to my php section this php is equaling dynamic list this is the variable where i'll put all the information from my database but if you go to my database right now it has the table structure but when i click browse there is no data here so there should be lots of data just like this store which has data in it you see these are all the news which i am talking about so this is not our database our database is this one so if i'll go to news there is a structure means all these fields are there waiting for the data to come in so the moment i will start putting the data in then i will see all the records here so i'll just come back here in dreamweaver and i'm gonna make a new page called inventory edit which i started off yesterday if you see this one inventory list so this inventory list is basically where i will add new inventory items and then you know i can edit them later as well so in this inventory list page i am going to add this php code where it shows me the current product list in the database so if there is no current product then i am going to write something about it as well but if we have some product then product or news article then we will see it over here in this section so this is the area where we have defined this text box this heading and ultimately if i click on this text box i am just going to play around with its name which is the most important one and you see here id is product name so this is its id so i am going to change some of these things for example instead of this product name i am going to call it news name news name news name and then type is text then i'll go to this you can click here and you can go directly to the exact text here and this is called competition date i'm going to call it name com underscore date and i'm going to call it com underscore date and these are all these values which i am using over here this is the news name this is the competition date all right and then in this category you see here in this category i have a long list of variables here which i have added over here these are called a values inside this drop down list and you see here for this drop down list i have used a tag in html called select and this is where i am giving it a category name and this is the id and the name which i am going to use it over there in programming and then whenever i add some option over here you see here there is some text and this is its value this is the text this is the value and so this is the text which user can see over here and the value means this value will go inside the database this value will go inside the database which i am going to create over there in that uh, website of mine in the database so i'm just coming down and from where will you get all these values in the competition i'll give you this categories document so this is where you get all these values and then you can copy them and put them over here and make this uh, list over here so so its name is called if i click here its name is called category and its id is also called category this is what i am going to use in my programming so i'll come down 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 and you see here if i click this button this drop down list has three values which is called i am going to call it medal instead of sub category so this is going to be called medal medal and <clears throat> because i was working on something else previously so i needed to change these values from 
because this gold is when user selects the gold option from here in this list and when the silver is selected then the value silver should go inside my database and when bronze medal is selected then this value should go in the database so this is its name this is its id this is the gold value silver and bronze so i only have three options over here in this uh, drop down list now but in this drop down list i'll have lots of options which i have put from the, the document which i have shared with you i'll just show you what does that mean and let me click file save all I'll go to my Firefox because I hope you remember that last time I have two users logged in in Chrome so I'm not working in Chrome so I'll go to uh, admin page and if I click on manage news postings I'd like to add or do something else so I, if I come here you see lots of list items over here these are all those things which I have added over here in Dreamweaver over here and in the medal 1 category if you see here medal one gold silver and bronze the moment i select silver this will put silver value this silver value inside this database which you have already seen i'm just gonna open it up over there as well <coughs> i'll open it in firefox so that you can watch it so you see here this is the medals category which will go over there so this is the category this is the details section so I'll just explain it now if you come here this is the news details and you see its name is called details its id is called detail as well and this is a text area it is not a text box in case of this one you see its name is called input but this is called text area text area means I can have more rows and number of rows over here and it's a bigger text area <coughs> and then comes this news picture and you see here this news picture is just a label then this is just an input field and then I have got this button called you see this one if I am just coming here you see here input and I have changed its type to file file means I can have this browse button and then I when I click on it it selects a file and then it submits it to the database but I am not gonna actually submit it into the database because of uploading pictures into the database so I am gonna play around with the picture names which I have explained to you earlier that today is the time <coughs> that I will copy all my pictures inventory images and I will paste them over here so these are all the pictures I am playing around with them and in your Mac always always right click on right click on the picture whenever you download a picture from internet or make your own in Photoshop you just have to right click on it click on get info and in this dialog box you have to click on everyone read and write because usually read and write or read only at least and usually in the beginning it's mentioned as no access so you have to set it to read and write or read only at least so that when your PHP talks to your page and then you can see the news posting just the way they are shown over here if I'll go to this home So these pictures won't show if you have not clicked this button which I have just shared with you. You have to right click, get info and set this everyone uh, permission to read only or read and write. Otherwise you will not be able to see any picture. So this is really important. You have to do this on Mac only. In Windows everything works fine. So coming back, this is the file field and this is the main button whose name is this its type is called submit means when I click on it it sends all these values variables to this form this form will put the data into database using some code which I am gonna mention over here in this area <coughs> so it's the name is called button value ID is button and this is the label which you can see over here at this article now so I'm just gonna I just I'm just gonna save this one and then I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna add 
the code which adds all this value based on the push of this button all right so the first thing which i am going to do over here is to check if this is uh, the current administrator who is actually logged in and he is the one who is adding the news and nobody else and who is that administrator if you remember that if i go to my news db and i'll go to admin this is the guy so if he is logged in then this is what i'm saying if there is a session called manager is actually logged in if that's not the case this exclamation mark means if this is not true then please take me to admin login page and if you remember admin login page admin login where are you admin login this is the one See this username and password. If he is not logged in, then he's uh, the computer is gonna show you that thing. And if he is logged in, then we are gonna check all of this. And I have already explained this to you in this other uh, video that uh, the computer, if this is the the case, it is uh, he is not logged in, then he will take it to this page. But if he is logged in, then we are just checking his ID, his uh, his uh, username, his password. And then we are just going to the database. This database, which I am already shared with you, just this is my store scripts. And then, if you come here, I'll go here, and I will just check that if it's working and no error is being generated. Make sure file save all, and click here. I will go to the home page and go to the admin page. I will click here and you see here everything works fine. There is no error, nothing wrong with it. So you just need to follow these lines which I have already shared with you. But if your manager is not logged in, then you will also get this message your login session data is not recorded on the database. It means I have not logged in using those credentials in admin page. So now i'll explain to you the rest of the stuff which is actually showing all of this data when i click this button then computer will put the news articles here but before i do that if i i'd like to see what news articles are in my database i'll have to write that code as well so there are two things one is this getting the news articles from the database from this database if i go to news from there is no record here so if there is no record then i need to show some message here and if there are some things in here then i will start seeing that list over here so i'm just gonna add those uh, codes over here and then uh, you know you will see what i mean so the first thing which i'm gonna start is with this this php code is always here in your file and it says error reporting E all means show me all the errors whatever error occur in my code or in any other PHP block which I am writing and any set display errors comma one it means it will show all the errors whichever are being reproduced from this PHP code so this these two lines should always be part of your code so that you can see what sort of errors are in your code so after this here I am going to start working on adding these new articles and then fetching them from the database. So this code is going to add a news article into database but first before I add this button I am just going to talk about this variable product list. So here I am going to list all the current news items in my database and if there is no news item then I am going to show this message. So this is the block of code I have just written for you. So you see here, in this one, I am just going to say this. So this block grabs the whole list for viewing whole news list. This is by the way just a comment, okay. And for viewing inside the variable dollar product list and you can see here this is the variable which I have defined over here in my code if I click this button you can see here this is the 
area where it's it's gonna show me all of that so in this variable you can see here I am playing with this variable and it is doing all of this this small dot means I am adding whatever new data is coming and I am appending into that one and this is a while loop I'll explain that in a moment so the first thing the product list starts with an empty variable there is nothing inside it then I am writing a, an SQL variable where this variable has this query inside it query means I am talking about this database if I'll come to box this is the table I am talking about and I am in right now in news table and this is area where I am talking about and then if I go to browse there are no information inside it so I am saying go to this area and see I am saying select steric steric this najama means from news this table news from news order by date added means there is this date added button uh, uh, row here which is gonna descending descending means uh, the latest news will come on top and then the other news are gonna come down so descending mean it is gonna sort sort means it's gonna show me news in an orderly manner so it is selecting all the news from this table and there is currently no news item here all right so for if there uh, there are news so first thing i'm gonna select here this uh, there is gonna be a new variable and i'm gonna say here my sql number of rows so this function anything which is written in this green command is usually a function with these two small brackets in this function i am passing on this query so this query basically selects all the rows from my database for example in this database where i have the news if i go here you see here i have got lots of i have got uh, one two three four five six all these rows items over here so here in my news table right now there are no news available so it's gonna say zero so the product count is currently zero so if product count is greater than zero then computer will do this otherwise if it is zero then I will go to this else statement so this is what I mean this is the while loop and this is the if statement so this if starts from here and it encompasses all of this but if the product count is equal zero or less than zero then please do this and what is this this is saying in product list variable please add this string only this string means this text wherever you see this line of text this is called string in programming so these inverted commas saying you have no news listed on your website yet so because I don't have any news items here then it is gonna show me this message so I'm just gonna go to this place I'll go to my website and then I'll go to admin I'll go to manage news posting and you see here now previously there was an error here now it is showing you you have no news listed on your website yet so you can see here th now this product variable this this variable the PHP variable has some text in it if it doesn't have a text in it then it's gonna do this it is gonna have all of this text now this text is actually HTML if you see this one this is text till this comma this colon and this dollar ID you remember this ID this is the ID which I am gonna get from my this query so let's talk from here so if there are product count or I'm just gonna call it news count okay so that it shows you exactly like this news count so 
instead of this product list I am also gonna call it news list and I have to change it everywhere this is the news list variable and I'm gonna click here and see this equaling variable I'm gonna call it news list so I've just renamed my variable from product list to news list here I'm just checking this is the news list one and this is the news count and then I'm gonna change this to news as well news list so now if I see here so this news list is empty then I go to this database news count is checking the number of rows in my database so if news count is less than zero then or equal to zero then I'm gonna show this message and if it is greater than zero then please do this while loop is basically what is a loop loop is basically when you want computer to, to keep doing keep doing one small activity again and again and again and till when this activity goes till I have data in my SQL query SQL query this query it is selecting all the records from the database and if you see here in another database many so computer is saying if I'll show you here I have no records in my database right now but if you see this one which is another database I was created so here I've got lots of records so computer will fetch this row this row and then from this row it will generate all of these variables and show me some results but if I don't have anything then you have already seen that there is no record here and computer takes me to this part this area so here I'm just gonna check uh, so you see here while number this row variable is equals my SQL fetch row um, fetch array dollar sql so it means it will this variable will have the total number of rows available over here so the moment these rows become null then this while loop will exit null means there is no row available right now so so what is what is it doing it is recording the row id this id is the main id if you see here in my table this id and computer you can see here auto increment it means computer will add this ID automatically into my database the moment I press this button computer will add it one into the news then two three four five so I don't touch it so that is why I'm just getting this ID always from here and I can't change it uh, this is the primary key that is why so I'm just gonna write here this is the news name this is this field news heading and this is the database value then this is the competition date and this is the competition date in the database and this is the competition date over here I have not made it as a date field you can change its input type to date field and then the, it will be stored as a date as well but I have just given user text based information so they can write 23rd April or 25th April using English so then date added this date added I am not storing it from here this is the system date I am getting at this time what is the date and time and how do I do that there is this line for it strf time this is a function and then it stores uh, date time year all of that and string to time this is another function and it goes and fetches this data from date row added uh, this row you see date added and its type is also called date so this is where when I'll press this button add this article now I will put this information over there manually on my own uh, so and then in the end once I have these values from my database then this product list variable will start adding all this HTML in this HTML because I am in this PHP code I can use these variables which are which are PHP variables and you can see here this is the article ID then strong is basically bold and then dollar news name this is this this variable so whatever I have written over here it has gone into this database and I am getting this name from this 
browse area where you will see the news there is nothing right now but whatever news name I type over here it is stored over here in this area and this is where I am printing it I am printing in this area so you will see that in a short while so this is the news name then the competition date then uh, added on this date added this is the variable I'm using then this spacebar 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 and then there are two A tags you see this A tag this is basically you know a link and then there is a edit button and then there is a delete button you will know when I'll start showing you that so now let's add our first news article into our database and for that I have to write another set of code here So this is what happens when I click this add this article now button and this add this new article button now is basically doing this. So I am saying here dollar underscore post means if there is something in this news name in this news heading then I need to do this. So this is what it is saying if there is something in this news name and I have posted something I have clicked this button then this function will go dollar underscore post means I have clicked that button so if that button has been pressed then please do this so do this what so first thing I am making variables to store these values these values so you see here this value this text area value is called news name and I am storing it where in this variable this is what I am showing you see here news name my sequel real escape string this is just a function and this is basically this is a function of my sql language and this is where you know i am posting this this variable was posted this news name it was when i press this button it is posting all these fields of this form into php so this news name then the competition date then details category and medal these are all the values coming from this area this is the competition date this is the category and this is the medal one and these are the details so these are all the values which I get from here in this form and then I'm storing them in different variables over here then after this I'm adding this news item into database right now in this area so here I'm writing another SQL variable and I'm saying my SQL query I can uh, here you see in this video this place I was using my SQL query to get the data from database now I am using this SQL query to insert the data into news table which table if you see this table this is the table I am inserting data so in this table I am saying insert news name which is this thing then competition date this is the competition date then the details, details, category, medal, date added, all these values I am saying. And what should I insert these values? The first, this thing, and then I am saying values. Values means store these things, these variables which I have stored from these values. So you see here news name, competition date, details, category, and medal. And then this now function is basically getting the exact date right now in my computer. And then putting it in this edit date added variable and this or die means if I have any error any other issue in my query then I'll get some error from this SQL then I am also doing this one thing and this is where I am my SQL insert ID number and ID this is where I am putting the news ID this news ID into database and then I am making a new named variable over here which is which is asserting this ID one two three four and then adding dot jpg with it that is where I told you that I have this new folder and in this new folder I have one two three all these pictures available so this is where I'm gonna store all these pictures and I'll use this function move uploaded file and then there's this variable dollar files this is the file field and this is the temp name so these are the things which I am using over here using the browse button and then these are going to inventory images folder and then dollar new name means this is the name I am making every picture is being made by one two three four five dot jpgs 
and if this is all okay when I have just added the record just take me back to this page which is again the same page inventory list page so it is just taking me back over here and then exit so this is where computer is just telling me that I have added the record and you have a new news in your system so I'm just gonna save it now and I'm gonna test it I'll save on so I'm gonna go to my Firefox and I'm gonna add some news mm, this is the first news posting as a test news competition date May 2016 and this is the graphic design category and I won a gold medal this is sample text for the first news and you see here I'll click browse button and then I can go and select this file from my I'll copy these files in my desktop as well so that I can just use them and go to my desktop <coughs> and I'm gonna select this one.jpg from here and the moment I press this button press this button I have got some error here so I'm gonna fix it so what does it say undefined code comp date product list in applications inventory list.php so I'm gonna fix it right now let me see I have done some these two lines it is showing me on line 44 I am saying comp date so it is saying this row competition date does not exist in your table and he's right it's competition date so I'm just gonna fix this spelling competition date so the moment I do that it will get rid of this error and the second one it is saying product list variable is not fine here you see here so I have named it to news list already so I'm just gonna change it to news list so the moment I do that I click file save all I go here go to home I'll go to admin I'll click on manage news posting and you can say see here this is article ID 1 this is the first news posting as a test news and May 2016 added March 31st 2016 and I have edit or delete button so how does this this HTML came into life this is all due to this code this code this code is doing what if you can see it parallel like this let me just put it side by side so that maybe you can see it now so you see here this article ID is this text then number ID this is the information coming from database and if you see here this is number one and this is the first news posted as a test news this is the news name I am putting I have not put here news details or other things because I just wanted to use one line for this this May 2016 is the competition date I have put over here this is the edit date uh, edit is basically just edit by myself you see here this word added is I added it this word it is not coming from a database and date edit is the date which I have you see I am from using it from this now function and then this edit and delete button I have not done any functionality for them and you see if I click edit it is taking me to another page inventory edit I don't have this page right now and then I am sending product ID there as well which ID do I need to delete so I am just gonna use here instead of PID and ID because this is the news ID I am just gonna use okay <clears throat> so if I come here and I see now this is the first news articles in my database I'll show you my database now finally in my database 
I go to my news database and I go to news section and you see here Alhamdulillah I have something in the records you see this record this is the first news I have added this is the competition date these are the details this is the category this is the medal and this is the date added so I can add a new row from here as well but adding a new row from here doesn't make any you know sense because you have to write the code in order to fetch it as well so now that I have added this news over here this code comes into life and then basically it shows you all of this data all of this data from my database right now so I'm gonna do a couple of more news so that you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna come here and you see what is gonna happen uh, this is the second news posting command A, command C, command V and I'm gonna say web design this time I won the gold medal and I will say June 2016 and I will select Samsura 2.jpg and I will click add this article now and you see the moment I press that computer fetches the new record from my side and now there are two rows in the system so that is where this while loop is working and then the moment I press this one it makes these fields empty again and this is where it is doing this exit when I exit and this loads this page again it shows me empty fields so I'm just gonna add few, few more news articles <coughs> this is the third news article and this is the third news posting I'm gonna say May 2016 or maybe September so that you can see the new stuff is being shown here let it be pastry cook let it be third jpg add this article and the moment i am doing this <coughs> it is fetching this data and this this html is dynamically generated by this block of code and if you come here if you just refresh your database you will see here there are more records here now and structure remains the same structure has nothing to do with that this is the data of the table so this is the way you are gonna add more news and by the way these are just by right now being added into the system and on the home page I will still have the same error because this is not defined right now and I am not putting getting the information or the news on the home page right now I'm just putting the news in my database and then I can you know add multiple further news into it so I think I'm just gonna stop this video over here so that you have this working and then I'll continue by clicking this edit or delete button so that you know you can edit any news anytime or delete any news anytime and then all these news I'm gonna show these on on the news page over here as well which is not at all I have not made this page so I'm just gonna stop over here and then you know I'll continue in the next video for with the rest of the stuff so right now in administration section all these things are working and I've got all the news I'm just gonna add this is this is fourth news posting January 2016 let it be aircraft maintenance this is the fourth news posting and I'm gonna select fourth picture I'll click add this article now and you can see here new data is stored here and then new data stored over here as well in the back end and you see here the id is computer is adding all of those so i'm just gonna stop it over here and then you guys can practice and then i'm continuing i'll continue this in the next video